Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jean-Daniel Roussel. I'm the president of the Java Card Forum, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this last in our series of webinars. I thank you for your attendance. This morning, this is our last of our series, and I hope you enjoyed uh, and had the opportunity to attend the previous one. If not, uh, please remind that uh, the replays are available from the Java Cloud Forum website. The presentation will start in a couple of minutes. In our previous webinars, we have seen how the latest Java Cloud 2.1 release has unique features for the Internet of Things. We have presented the benefits of Java Cloud for end to end security how to personalize post issuance, how to trust uh, remote devices using attestation. And today, the presentation will focus on end-to-end -end IoT to cloud secure communication. The presentation will be given by Kristan Valerio Toma and Vlad Petrovici from Oracle. Christian and Vlad are both senior software engineers at Oracle, where Christian is focusing nowadays on cybersecurity, Internet of Things, cloud embedded and mobile application, and Vlad on Internet of Things, security for embedded systems and data analytics. Please feel free to ask questions in the webinar uh, chat box that we will answer at the end of the presentation, or you can just wait for the end where we will open the microphone and you will be able to directly uh, voice your questions. You can focus on the presentation. Uh, we will send it to you, uh, the PowerPoint, uh, tomorrow by mail, and it will be available also on the website. In the meantime, enjoy the talk. Christian, Vlad, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Jean-Daniel, for the introduction. Hello, uh, my name is Christian Toma, and together with my colleague Vlad Petrovic, we will present IoT Secure Sensors Payload and Cloud Connections uh, webcast webinar. I am a software developer at Oracle, Java Platform Group, and uh, we are members of uh, Oracle Bucharest team uh, for the Java Card and Embedded Security technology. For uh, today, as agenda, uh, we have the overview where we are going to depict the problem and uh, how we try to solve it and what the demo is doing. Then in more details, the second section is going to be about demo components and Java Cut, uh, where the key role and the key place is taken by a Java Cut, of course. Um, the third section would be uh, demos architecture and data flow. And uh, after I'm presenting these topics, um, I'm going to pass the floor to my colleague Vlad, uh, who will show the video for the demo. After the video, we will do the wrap up and have the conclusion. And uh, in the end, please accept to address your questions, uh, either via uh, chat in QA and uh, question and answer session, either uh, by using your mic. Um, thank you very much. And I'm going to uh, start right now with the overview. So uh, taking a look from the left side to the right side via the smart meter and the cloud service. Uh, we uh, see the smart meter in here, uh, which uh, is going to obtain values uh, from the sensors. The values for the, this demo uh, that we take into account are the electrical power consumption, the temperature, and um, with the help of a magnetic sensor, we are detecting if a tempering attempt has been made. The smart meter contains a Java card secure element. And you know very well, um, there are different form factors in the market from a removable secure element to embedded secure element to integrated secure element. And in the previous webcast, uh, Oracle presented uh, a uh, use case using integrated secure element in a Musca D board. The secure elements uh, may receive the input uh, either indirectly via the smart meter board, uh, main board, or directly uh, for specific sensitive sensors without using the main board or CPU bus of the smart meters. This is all about in this area of uh, secure peripherals. 
then the secure element inside the smart meter should be able to uh, provide security and uh, end to end to IoT clouds uh, for the authentication, for the signing of the payload, and for the enrollment. In the demo that we are presenting today, we are targeting three uh, Internet of Things clouds. First is Oracle, the second one is Microsoft, and the third one is Google. Uh, in this overview, uh, we highlight the fact that the first choice for an integrator or solution provider would be to encapsulate into uh, IoT device, in our case, this smart meter, uh, Java Card 3.1 and Global Platform Compliant Secure Element. Therefore, the demo for today uh, contains two demos, actually. First is IoT Secure Peripherals demo, and second is IoT Multi-Cloud Security demo. In more details, we are targeting with the first one uh, the fact that Java Car Platform, extension, uh, Car Platform extensions uh, are supporting specific I.O. communications with peripherals. And application within Secure Element directly controlling and accessing peripherals. Once we are able to collect in a secure manner the information and the data from the sensor, we should push this data into different clouds. And uh, we targeted different clouds because uh, they have different authentication schemes, they have different communications protocol. For instance, Oracle is using HTTP secure REST calls, uh, while uh, Google and Microsoft is using MQTT. So in the second part of the demo, we are highlighting the device enrollment and onboarding using Java Card. Secure Internet of Things Cloud Authentication and Authorization by signing tokens in order to be able to push data in a secure manner. And of course, the uh, multi Internet of Things solution provider support. The second section uh, we are uh, addressing is, demo is about demo components and Java. Um, as you can see in the picture, the central and the key uh, key element is Java card, and we are considering this is the um, about uh, secure the last yard between devices or gateways and attach peripherals, enabling trust and exchange of sensitive data at the very edge. So as you can see in this part, uh, we may have secure channel between peripherals and security chips. Uh, like NFC, uh, near field communications, then we can have uh, authenticated sensors and data sources at the edge. Then uh, we may have uh, in the right part, uh, out of band communication for sensitive data, biometric info, root of trust credentials. And of course, we may have encrypted data storage. Next slide. Uh, is highlighting the fact that Java Card enabling multi-cloud authentication scheme. So, for instance, as you can see in here, Oracle Internet of Things Cloud Service is using for signing tokens RSA algorithm with a hashing function SHA-256. Uh, so, uh, this is different, for instance, from uh, Google, which may use a different uh, authentication and signature algorithms for the tokens. And therefore, Google is using elliptic curve digital signature algorithms, so ACDCA, with the same hashing function. Therefore, we see Oracle IoT Cloud Service authentication process for the client device has different security requirements regarding the scheme and the use crypto algorithms. On the other hand, Google Internet of Things publisher subscriber may use ACDCA with SHA-256. In the future, in the future, both of these clouds, uh, it is possible to support a different authentication scheme or to replace, uh, for instance, SHA-256 with SHA-3 with Gadget. Why? One of the reason would be uh, because of post-quantum crypto research, cryptography research. Some of the cryptographic algorithms, for instance, will be totally replaced. And we know very well NIST is in the third round for the hash functions and for other post-quantum uh, crypto algorithms. Therefore, 
the application, in this case Java Card Applet in the middle, must be redeployed because the developer, the integrator, the company that put in place the solution have to be updated. And uh, this can be done very easily because of the Java Card ecosystem and uh, because of the global platform. But the secure element will stay in place, so it's not going to be replaced. Therefore, because of the Java card adaptability and extensibility, we are able to support different authentication schemes and various cryptographic algorithms for now and, of course, for the future. Regarding Java card 3.1 features for Internet of Things, uh, this uh, was in mind of Oracle when um, published and developed 3.1 API. And I'm going to pinpoint, all of these are important, but I'm going to pinpoint several of the features from 3.1. Uh, and I'm going to highlight what we are using in the demo mainly. So yes, we may have certificate API in order to optimize storage and certificate handling. And this appeared in 3.1. We may have monotonic counter, for instance, API in order to handle the anti-reply uh, functions and attacks. We may have system API for uh, creating timestamps and watch docs. We support very complex Java card applets, applications, with extended file format, because till now we had the limitation to 64 kilobytes of the converted applet of the application. Now we can support more. We uh, have static resources for application configurations and uh, we enhanced elliptic uh, curves cryptography with new curves and uh, new cryptographic algorithm. In the demo, extensively, I use these two features, extensible input output framework in order to support new physical interfaces and access peripherals and input output buffers for efficient data. In the next slide, you will see details about this extensible IO framework uh, and how is enabling secure SAM. This slide, I'm going to uh, pinpoint uh, what is important and uh, the most important thing appeared in API of Java Car 3.1 is this with blue, the event framework, and NIO buffers. Um, the, this is the core. And uh, the core, the event framework, consists of several Java interfaces and classes included into Java Car 3.1 API for event registry, event source, and event listener. The NIO buffers with uh, classes buffer and byte buffer um, support and help to have an efficient handling approach for the data payload manipulation. The API includes now uh, this extensible uh, IO framework, which allows the developers and integrators, integrators to go to very limited hardware environment in order to include several IO buses, input output buses. On top of this framework, we may have specialized API or device IO API, uh, which is containing, uh, this API is containing specific classes and interfaces for the device interface configuration, opening and closing procedure, as well as specific serial communication. For instance, we may have SPI, I2C, GPIO, UART, or other field buses. In the demo, on top of specialized APIs, so device IO API, there are two categories of applications, actually Java card applets. First category uh, is responsible, this one, for the sensors and actuators access in secure manners. So this one is responsible for secure peripherals. The second category, which consists in this picture of three applets, is responsible for securing the communication with different IoT cloud vendors. And as I stated in the beginning, we are targeting Oracle, Microsoft, and Google. More in details, the first category of the applications and of the applets um, 
is using Java Car Platform Extension to support specific I.O. communication with peripherals, as stated before, so specialized API and this event framework, and is using API within Secure Element to directly control and access peripherals. The second category, these three applets, is used for different IoT cloud providers, Oracle, Microsoft, and Google, but of course could be others, Amazon or whatever, IBM, in order to do what? Device enrollment and onboarding, secure IoT cloud authentication and uh, authentication and authorization, and also signing the payload. In the first, in the third section, I'm going to present the demo architecture, and inside this demo architecture, the key element is the secure element which is running Java Car Virtual Machine. This, on top of this Java Car Virtual Machine, as you see, uh, have seen in details in the previous slide, we are targeting two things again to securely access matter and sensors here and to secure communication to different clouds. To secure access via this Java Card Applet NIO Sensors app, we are targeting to read in secure manner sensors and detect abnormal security condition, to read matter and sign data to ensure consumption report authenticity. In addition, we have a tampering detection if the box of the smart meter is open. This is going to be reported into the cloud. Then for the secure communication, we, uh, we need a stack, a network stack, a network communication stack in the device in order to do the communication with the cloud via an IoT cloud device library. Each cloud is publishing for different platforms uh, various libraries to support communication directly and uh, to uh, hide the details of the communication doesn't matter is HTTP, secure REST, or MQTT with some certain uh, signature of the tokens and so forth and so on. Next slides, next three slides are going to represent the animation in order to highlight the data flow within the demo architecture. And I'm going to go to the first one. And as you can see in here, the IoT client application, which normally would run into the smart meter, is going to use the secure element client in order to ask NIO sensors applet, Java card applet, to start communication and collect data from the sensors. In our case, temperature, electrical power consumption, and eventually a tempering attempt. Then, the applet using specialized API and even Java Card event framework from 3.1 API is going to interrogate the sensors and is going to receive data at some certain sample rate. We are usually using the for this demo sample rate around three or five seconds for each value. Then also using secure element client, the IoT client application is interrogating the Applets, Java card applets, uh, for obtaining the proper tokens signed in order to do the authentication enrollment into different IoT clouds. And once this is done, then the data in secure manner is pushed either via uh, REST calls or MQTT into IoT clouds. Of course, the payload uh, may be encrypted and or signed in order to have application level security in ISO stack. Next three slides, I will pass the floor uh, for my colleague Vlad Petrovic to present in more details the components uh, that we have uh, inserted in the demo. Why? Because in some certain point of the video, this might be uh, fuzzy and it's better to have a clear picture about what is going to happen in the demo. So Vlad, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Christian. Uh, hello, my name is Vlad Petrovic and I'm part of the Java Card Platform Development Team at Oracle. I'll be presenting the uh, Secure Peripherals and Secure Cloud Connection demos. The demos uh, showcase the IoT scenario of a smart meter 
we will be using Java Car 3.1 security features to collect sensor payload, leading to fraud detection, sending cloud alerts, and reporting consumption anomalies. Additionally, the Java Car runtime is enabled authentication of the smart meter device, ensuring confidentiality and integrity of the communication uh, with the cloud platform. Java Card secures the edge by performing IoT uh, cloud security operations on behalf of the device. Uh, throughout the demo video, uh, the screen will be split in three parts. Uh, in the left part, you will see the live uh, camera uh, and the uh, hardware demo setup. In this particular slide, you have a full perspective of the hardware setup. Uh, you notice the white enclosure, which hosts the smart meter device. Uh, the consumption uh, value uh, can be read locally on the LCD screen. To simulate consumption, we have a light bulb and also a soldering station for simulating the high consumption peaks. Uh, I will provide more details later during the uh, presentation. Uh, next slide, please. Thanks. Uh, this slide uh, is a screenshot of the Smart Matter application UI. You will see it in the center of the screen during the video. Uh, it is in charge of showing live data of the sensor's payload values from the smart meter. The available telemetry data we have are uh, electrical consumption, uh, temperature and tampering status. Visual gauges are adjusting according to the received values. The tool is interrogating the secure element and hosts the communication stack required to connect to the cloud backend. The drop down uh, buttons allow starting and uh, stopping the smart meter uh, and the communication with the secure element. Before the connection, it is mandatory to select uh, the appropriate Java card application, which corresponds to the cloud we will communicate with. Each platform has its specific configuration settings like uh, endpoint URL, uh, device name, and keys. Uh, they are all securely hosted in the Java card secure element. Uh, the arrows are signaling the communication status with the secure element and also with the cloud backend. Uh, green means the connection is established, red means no connection has been uh, made. And the last uh, slide, the um, first uh, IoT cloud platform we will present is the Oracle I IoT asset monitoring platform. The map is showing the location of the monitor device. Uh, in the right, you can see the graph uh, with the three telemetry data we are showcasing, the temperature in blue, the power consumption, green, and the tampering status in, in yellow. Uh, in addition to the uh, Oracle, Oracle IoT Asset Monitoring Cloud Service, the demo includes two additional IoT platforms, which we will show receiving data from the smart meter device namely the Microsoft Azure IoT and Google Cloud Platform. Very important, before any interaction with any of the three uh, IoT Cloud Platform is done, the secure element has been already provisioned with the corresponding credentials or keys. The private keys never leave the secure element. And the smart meter uh, device is registered on each platform according to the cloud specifics, not part of this uh, demo. I will now um, switch to the video demo we have. Christian? Yes, thank you very much. Um, so as stated in the beginning, we are coming up for the conclusions and for the wrapping up. And we have more information and then the question and answering uh, session. Therefore, as you can see in here, first and uh, one of the most important uh, thing is the fact that Java card offers a secure runtime. Uh, it offers a secure runtime to securely store and manage crypto keys for Internet of Things cloud authentication, but not only for storage, also for running um, in a safe manner, the cryptographic algorithm in secure element, create tokens, encrypt and sign payloads. 
It also simplifies uh, the handling of different hardware architecture and provides portability. Uh, this is important because Java Card is addressing the highly fragmented IoT landscape. Um, it offers an adaptable and extensible uh, solution because uh, it's supporting multiple authentication schemes and IoT clouds uh, and is enabling payload handling from different peripherals using different and various protocols. In order to uh, build your IoT device security, Java Card uh, is manageable. Uh, and uh, this is because it allows to update and upgrade the Java card applets and remaining compliant uh, uh, with the fast evolving security requirements and regulations. This uh, was the last webcast in JCF series for this year, and uh, we have explored some other use cases, and you have seen how Java card can be used in this demo, first to handle device to cloud communication security, as well as how uh, we use Java Card to securely access device peripherals. The next slide is the last one, uh, having introduction into and links. You are going to receive the PDF uh, that allows you to uh, navigate and to explore Java Card platform specification 3.1, Java Card development kit tools, Java Card development kit simulator. And uh, of course, you have the contacts in order to ask us because you are going to have access to the PDF, uh, the video and more details we can discuss uh, separately. Uh, in the end, securing communication between IoT device and IoT cloud services is critical to build trusted IoT environments. This demonstration explains how a Java card based secure element is used to secure the communication between edge devices and multiple IoT cloud platforms in our case, Oracle, Microsoft, and Google. Among other aspects, the demo showed how Java Card and Global Platform Technology supports uh, and support the capability to update and upgrade the security scheme, simplifying uh, and um, the repurposing of a device to migrate to another cloud solution. Feel, please feel free to contact us if you need more info or you have questions regarding these topics. Uh, the presentation again will be published on JCF and you are receiving uh, via email. And in this slide, you have our email address. Feel free to ask in the chat or unmute your mic and ask directly questions that you have. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Christian and, um, and Vlad. So um, we are open uh, to questions. Just uh, Unmute your mic when ready and feel free to ask the question. Meanwhile, we have a question in chat uh, from Olivier uh, Comarmo uh, from Soracom. Uh, Olivier, would you like to ask the question in person or should I read it? Hear me? Yes. All right. Uh, I just wanted to. I'm I'm a Java Card developer already, but I'm working on 3.0.2, and I would be interested in getting a training on uh, 3.1 with a specific scope on uh, IoT secure communication, device attestation, and authorization. So I'm wondering if Oracle provides training and certification in this field. Um, Very interesting. Yeah, please, yeah. Patrick Kalinel, address this question because you... yes, yes. Uh, if if I may take this one, it, it it's a good question. Uh, it is a question which comes at a point in time where we are fastly moving towards something which which is uh, stabilizing. So what what I mean with this uh, generic uh, blah blah is the fact that. Uh, on the on the Java Cars 3.1, uh, we do have for sure uh, um, the ecosystem and the possibility to to support you. Uh, when it comes to attestation, the, the webinar we had last time was featuring the pass which is chosen towards standards by global platform and embraced by all those very many global platform members. 
Uh, nevertheless, uh, attestation is at this moment subject of of study and and uh, specification at more places than in global platform. This one is, I would say, the more advanced. The spec is going to be published soon, and it it, it offers the possibility to to implement this this uh, showcase and this demo. Uh, so what I'm trying to say, the attestation. Uh, as such, to come into the situation to do certification and uh, courses still needs a little bit of, of uh, getting more stable. Uh, so um, we can we, we can exchange for sure uh, questions and answers with respect to using uh, the Java Cast 3.1 enablement in the sense of how it was presented here. The, the the framework that enables you to do much more than in the past, which means uh, just APDUs, I don't know, contact, contactless. You can go now via bus and pick up whatever payload from where you want in a secure, non-secure manner. Uh, we can talk about that. Um, then please, please use the last slide to contact uh, us. Uh, when it comes to certification, I don't think the ecosystem is already uh, stable to to claim doing that. All right, thank you very much. Thank you for the question. Are any other questions? Uh, uh, Yosel, I have a question um, on the end-to-end -end security for, for the demo. Um, there's been a couple of presentations before on uh, IoT Safe. Uh, is, is it using the same kind of security inside the, the cloud platform, or how, how does it link? So, so if I if I may drive uh, towards this one, in in a way uh, um, on the time axis. Okay. So, so this demo is actually. Uh, having in scope the fact that you can use the same runtime which is the java card uh, you don't care about the form factor so you can do whatever you want in the sense of a removable sim a soldered sim m2m integrated secure element system on chip uh, whatever your edge device on the iot side would use and when it comes to the um, cloud connection uh, the demo is using typical and current deployed schemes. Uh, so as Christian presented, you have several uh, ways of uh, doing it using a certain crypto algorithm, a certain key length, a certain hashing algorithm, and so so far. And we respect it, so to speak, uh, what the cloud vendors today uh, offer if you want to connect to them. And it works. Now, IoT Safe is something which is trying to extract the glue out of this, I would say, cloud vendor implementation fragmentation, uh, doing the IoT Safe stuff and concentrating on a certain way of doing it, like uh, like TLS, uh, and and uh, from the entire artifacts that you need presented in this demo to connect to these clouds there are defining a common subset if i may put it this way uh, they call it iot safe and talk about sim but it's reusable on any form factor and on any other market but they are not they are not defining everything they are just trying to define a small subset which is in the iot safe specification around tls right so i would say the demo here is a superset which shows how you can connect today to these clouds and the IoT safe is going towards standardizing a, a minimum maximum standard superset that MNOs would like to see to connect to whatever backend. So, and how these things are going to, uh, uh, um, uh, let's say, converge, uh, we'll see. Uh, the other way, very short way to answer the question is, uh, we are actually considering to inserting these demos an implementation of the IoT Safe applet and see how it works towards of these three clouds. Not sure if this answered the question. 
Yes, yes. Um, by the way, um, uh, I think um, uh, cloud connection is is, is very uh, useful feature, and and probably a uh, lot of developers w would like to have this feature available uh, out of the box. Um, do you plan to have uh, some kind of um, open source or reference implementation available uh, to connect to the main uh, cloud providers? So what, what we would <coughs> what we would like to do, and it's against our company policy to give any um, any timeline, any roadmaps or something. But I can tell you that we are we are considering something which would make a developers' life much easier by enabling them to implement their applets based on an IoT SDK, which would be standards conform in the sense of Java Card and Global Platform IoT compatibility uh, profile. And, and based on that, uh, or on top of that, we might consider to have some reference uh, application or reference code which would enable customizing it to talk to different clouds. So the answer in general is yes. Uh, we are just pinpointing exactly the timeline as we speak. Thank you. Any other question or? I would have um, another one, uh, Jean Daniel, on the um, on the requirements in terms of because the the demo was running on a on a some kind of simulation on the, on the PC or desktop. Do you think that there would be some restrictions on the real Java card platform that can run this? Uh, does it require, I would say, a, a large uh, Java card, or would it fit in, I would say, a small footprint Java card? Any, any hint on that? Yeah, I guess the, the blunt answer is that there are already products in the market uh, which are using the Java Card platform to connect to several clouds. So everything is implemented inside of a chip. So it's it's actually no issue from the footprint and performance point of view. Okay, great. <clears throat> Any other question? Okay, um, so looks everything has been clear and very interesting uh, presentation. Uh, thank you, uh, Christian and, and Vlad. So, uh, I remember you that uh, you will receive the slides uh, tomorrow and um, you will be able to see the replay. And I thank you for your attendance and please all have a great evening or a great day and keep safe. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye.